Taylor Swift's net worth grew a whopping $80 million in 2021. Here's how. Hey, gentle viewers, it's Jesse. I hope your day is so well with watching the video. Let's start. Over the course of her career, Taylor Swift has amassed a staggering amount of wealth. Her songwriting skills and tenacity have sent her net worth to astronomical heights. And somehow, the VMA-nominated artist continues to increase her wealth with each passing year. In fact, in 2021 alone, Swift raked in more money than most people could make if they lived multiple lifetimes. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Swift is worth an astounding $400 million. She's achieved such wealth through songwriting, touring, brand deals, merchandise, and more. The Evermore artist has been steadily working since she was a teenager. Over time, she's become one of the most famous celebrities on the planet. And even in years when she wasn't overwhelmingly popular, her loyal followers still came out in droves to support her. Swift's annual salary is often more than most people will make in a lifetime. In a touring year, it's not uncommon for Swift to make $150 million. However, Swift managed to make more than half of that in 2021 when she wasn't on tour. But how did Swift manage to stack her cash so readily in a pandemic year? According to Rolling Stone, her two album re-records, merchandise for said albums, and brand deals with Peloton and Starbucks helped boost her net worth. Thus far, Swift has re-recorded and re-released two of her prior albums. First out of the gate was Fearless, Taylor's version, which was released in April 2021. Next up was Red, Taylor's version, which was released in November of 2021. But why is Swift re-recording her wildly successful albums? She's doing so in a bid to own her masters, which she explained while on Late Night with Seth Meyers. There was something that happened years ago where I made it very clear that I wanted to be able to buy my music, Swift shared. That opportunity was not given to me, and it was sold to somebody else. And so I just figured I was the one who made this music first. I can just make it again. So that's what we're doing. So when something says, Taylor's version, next to it, that means I own it, which is exciting. But re-recording her albums hasn't just been a boon to Swift's net worth. She's also been able to curate memorable experiences for her loyal fans. With the re-recordings, Swift has been able to release songs from the vault. These are songs that Swift wrote years ago that she ultimately had to leave off the original albums. She also gets to give fans new renditions of old favorites. A good example of this is what she did with All Too Well. Not only did Swift release the 10-minute version of the tune, but she also created a short film to complement it. Subscribe now! Daily Express YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.